Hi, I'm Rachel, and this video is going to show how to put your baby on your back using a hip scoot. First, I'm going to show how to do the hip scoot with just the baby, and then I'm going to show how to do it with the baby and, and a wrap, a woven wrap. So you're going to start by holding your baby on your hip. I'm holding my baby in my left arm. On my left side, that's the side I typically hold the baby. If you usually hold a baby on your right, you could start on the right. It's up to you. I'm going to start on the left. All right, so I have my baby in my left arm. I'm going to take my right arm to the baby's bottom. Now my right hand is holding the baby and my left hand is free. My left hand is going to reach up and over the baby's head almost like a swimming stroke. I'm going to take that hand to the baby's bottom and now my right hand is going to reach around behind my back to guide the baby over. Now with both hands on the baby's bottom, I'm going to bounce and scoot the baby to the middle of my back. Now I can reverse this to come back down. So I'm going to take both hands on baby's bottom, slide baby toward my left hand. My left arm is going to hold the baby in the crook of my arm. Now my right hand is going to reach around, support the baby's bottom, and I can lift my left arm up and over the baby. Now you can also do this with a woven wrap on the baby. And this is a great way to load your baby onto your back, um, especially if you're having a hard time making a seat or a hard time reaching behind you. You can make the seat right on your hip, just like you're dealing with the ring sling. So I'm going to hold the baby like I'm going to burp them. I've put my wrap on the baby's back up to the nape of the neck. I'm going to bring the opposite side of the wrap across my back and up over my shoulder. And then I'm going to make my seat on the front, just like I would make my seat with the ring sling. Maybe I'll reach under, slide my hand from knee to knee and make sure that the fabric is going from knee to knee on the baby's bottom. Now I'm going to pull this top over the shoulder tail to tighten. My right hand is going to hold the over the shoulder tail in my thumb and the under the shoulder tail, the one coming across my chest, with my finger. So if you look at my grip here, I have both tails in my hand. My right hand has the over shoulder tail and the tail holding the baby. Now, baby's held very securely. I'm going to do my hip scoot in the same way that I just did, except that instead of putting my hand on the baby's bottom, my right hand is going to hold the wrap. So now I've got baby on the hip. I'm going to lift my left arm up and over baby's head as if I'm swimming. Got baby in the crook of my arm here. I'm going to scoot baby to the side, and at the same time, I'm going to hold the two tails nice and snug. Scoot, scoot, scoot until I have baby centered. Now I can take my hand off of baby and have one hand hold each side of the wrap securely. Now if I'm wrapping a carry, I'm ready to begin. All right, and to get the baby down from the carry when I'm done, I'll get back to this point, hold the wrap securely with my right hand. Left hand is gonna welcome baby into the crook of my arm, slide the baby over. And then when I'm keeping my right hand holding the two tails, Lift my left arm back over, and now the baby's done. Thanks.